This is the era of business intelligence analytics and Power BI is leading that. You want to learn Power BI? This is the channel for you. Beginner series, 200 plus videos, advanced series, 100 plus videos. And if you are absolute beginner, don't know anything in Power BI, then start with four live videos. Subscribe to the channel. Hello and welcome to another video of beginner tutorial series and in today's video we are going to discuss one power query function that is table.findText. What this function can do, table.find function can take table as an argument and a text that it can search in a table and it returns the rows in the table that contains the text. If the text is not found an empty table is returned. So this is the example of you know what happens you say table dot find text and you give the certain records and you search for it and you, you get another table which is basically containing that one so we will try this out so let's go to the power bi and try this out so i go to power bi and in power bi i want to go to power query so under the home tab transform data transform data is going to take me to power bi now in my Power BI, I have a table two where I have this text A, B, C, D, and I'll try to search that out. So let's go ahead and create a new function. I can actually do that as a next step in that table, but I don't want to change that table. So I create a new source blank query. And in that blank query, let me call it as find text. And let me right click and go to the advanced editor. And let me say table dot find text and in the table dot find text let me give the table two and then let me give the text which is i want to find let me give capital a right now to begin with and i'm able to find the table uh, with the rows which contains a and now it's not asked the column for me which column i'm searching it just find out that text let me find out b so i'm able to edit that into the function row because this is the only step and i'm able to see the complete step if this step is longer you can open this arrow and can see that so let's search for e which is not present and you will get an empty table because e is not present now to test this data we need something interesting table and i already loaded from the item table from the sales data in video sales data used in video that's the file which i use and using that i have loaded this item table in item table i have a lot of stuff like you know item and category one two three four something like that so definitely i would like to do some search around that so instead of using table two let me start using item now so let me search item and let me give here in the item let me give uh, let's say category word category and most of the lines will contain so the table name was item i capital and we need to be very careful when we are giving the table names because power query is case sensitive and if you don't give the name then it will actually go so it's almost going to search everything because i have most of the rows contain category let me give category space one and then you will see the things getting restricted so instead of category one i can say brand one or brand two and i will be able to filter on brand so now previously i filtered on brand now i filtered on this one so can i filter more than one is it asking text to is it asking text not a list but let's what is the harm in trying so let's give a list here So it's going to start giving error it says no it can't search so we say okay fine no problem let's give a comma separated text does it make any difference for us so it's not going to search it so you can give one text only so i give one text here and let me search it again so in this manner in a particular table i can use table dot find text and can find out table anywhere into the that text in anywhere into the table and i will get a table which actually contain that text only so all the true result now i can do an entire join to find out what doesn't contain in that one or there could be some other methods i can use but this is the table which contain that particular text so go ahead and try that out and do let me know what else you want me to cover in this particular series thanks for watching this video thank you
Keep watching, keep asking questions in comment, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos. Thank you.